Hey everyone, on This Week in M&A, we're discussing, of course, ChatGPT and also how a lawyer is helping Amazon FBA sellers to avoid millions of dollars in sales taxes and a few other business things in between to help you on your business journey. So let's get into it. To start us off, let's talk about the trend of the week. So this week's trend of the week is ChatGPT. Now you probably know a bit about what ChatGPT is. It's a text output tool, so you can provide it prompts and it will provide you with certain types of text and you can ask it to do various things and because of this it's creating a lot of different use cases for online business now one of those use cases that you could test for yourself is creating 30 to 40 ads that would typically take maybe multiple days or weeks you could do this within a few hours you tell chat GPT a little bit about your product and your audience and you ask it to give you marketing ideas based on the information that you provided. Now, based on that information that ChatGPT gives you, you can send that into a tool like Jarvis or CopyLime to expand on the marketing copy. Based on that copy, you can then create ads out of that, run those ads. You'll still need a marketing professional to be able to run the ads to determine what actually is profitable and which ads to continue. But this is a way of leveraging or being augmented by AI in order to assist with a workflow that could typically be very cost and time intensive. And I actually had a live discussion with Matt Diggity on ChatGPT, the future of online business, and just how the landscape is shifting almost beneath our feet as we speak. We talk about just how the SEO profession might change, certain ways that business owners can leverage the current AI tools for their online businesses. So I'll leave a link to that in the show notes below if you want to watch that full discussion. All right, let's go over the marketplace trends. This last week, we had 10 new businesses listed, three businesses sold, totaling over 600 186,000 in assets, 769 businesses were unlocked and considered for purchase by our community of buyers, 1,332 new buyer accounts were created, adding $60.8 million in buyer liquidity, and 181 sellers submitted their business to potentially have it listed on the Empire Flippers marketplace. All right, next let's talk about this past week's opportunity guest. This past week's guest is Paul Raffleson, and he's a partner in Raffleson Law. This is the firm that helped Amazon FBA sellers during this lawsuit that happened in 2018 and 2019. So back in 2017, California followed up and pretty much sued a lot of Amazon FBA sellers who stored their inventory in California and sold it through the Amazon marketplace. Now, California said that for any seller who had inventory stored in California, they were liable for sales taxes on those units sold. Where this gets a little bit convoluted is California first tried to sue Amazon. Amazon said that they are just a third party marketplace that is helping sellers to sell their products. They're not actually a storefront themselves selling their own products. Well, I guess they are with their own brands, but that's a different story. Now, when California tried to sue the sellers, they said that yes, they are selling the products, but it's Amazon that is storing those products. So it was a lot of back and forth and ultimately Paul Raffleson and his law firm actually is currently in an ongoing lawsuit and assisting sellers through this. Now where this actually started to get really big is when other states saw California doing this, they also followed suit and they began filing lawsuits against the same sellers who also had inventory stored in their states. So you can see how this can really start to get out of control as far as the lawsuits just piling up. So if you want to learn more about how you could potentially avoid this scenario, or just if you are in this scenario, I think it would be worth listening to this episode. I'll leave a link to that in the show notes below as well. All right, next let's talk about this week's hidden gem. This week's hidden gem is for listing 57933. The current valuation for it is $157,588. It is an Amazon FBA business in the children and home niches. It was created in April of 2017 and the business features an Amazon Seller Central account with nine products, which are 24 SKUs, mostly for children's fitness and entertainment products, with other products from brands that are also in board games and home decor and accessories. Now, the business includes two brands approved by USPTO and is a part of Amazon's brand registry 2.0. And we're highlighting this business this week because of its following strengths. First are the brand assets. So the top SKU has over 5,000 reviews 
with an over four star rating with thousands of social followers. Second are the operations. This business only requires two hours per week and it's just on overseeing inventory. Third are the other assets. This business comes with two email lists, one with 4,600 subscribers and one with over 33,000 subscribers. And it also comes with supplier contracts. So again, if you want to look up this business, learn more about it, just search for listing 57933 on the Empire Flippers Marketplace. All right, next let's talk about how Empire Flippers capital is back trending on the economic downturns. So while the market as a whole seems to be crashing, companies are laying off 10, 15% of their entire workforce, sometimes tens of thousands of employees at a time. EF Capital is going on the offensive. And in Q3 of 2022, the round one investors saw a return of 2.4% and the round two investors saw a yield of 3.6%. Now, EF Capital is building on its momentum into 2023. It's actually branching off of Empire Flippers to expand its acquisition options. And one thing that's really exciting coming up that it's potentially opening up to crowdfunding options, which would allow non-accredited investors to participate in the EF Capital rounds, which would be an amazing opportunity. Next, let's talk about a content site case study where the site went from $0 to over $700,000 in valuation in just two years. So the site's owner, his name is Andrew, and he focused on building the groundwork for a very solid content site. So he focused on creating educational content and backlinks to reputable sources. So the site was focused on real estate, creating educational guides and product reviews. And he also focused on Haro backlinks, focusing on very high quality backlinks. So his team was able to get about one to two backlinks per month, just making sure they were focusing on high quality sources. And the site did not actually make any money for a year and seven months. And once it started to monetize the traffic that it was getting, it just completely shot up. And once he started to monetize the site, it went from almost making $4,000 a month to almost $25,000 a month. And because the site was built on such a solid foundation, it made for a very attractive acquisition. It was able to very seamlessly go through the vetting process. And in less than 30 days, it was acquired for over $700,000. All right, well, if you found this helpful and you'd like to actually receive this information a week earlier, then I highly recommend you sign up to our weekly newsletter where where you'll not only get this information a week earlier, but you'll also get a lot more information than what I was able to provide in the video. And again, if you would like to watch the live discussion that I had with Matt Diggity on ChatGPT and the current state and the future of online business, then feel free to click on this video. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.